All right, we're doing this. Uh, I just realized that the Talladega's logo there on the left side is uh, very emphasizes the uh, double L, which is pretty much, yeah, seems right for this track. It is a double L. Um, if you don't know what that means, a loss. We're going to lose. I assume that our safety rating streak of zero incidents is going to vanish. And, uh, yeah, but that's super speedway racing. And safety rating doesn't fucking matter. As you've seen, if you've watched this channel long enough, we get wrecked. We don't get wrecked. I wrecked myself. We stay a class A. Uh, you have to be really bad to have anything drop you down to a B or lower. So, it is noon. And I am racing because I have to go work tonight. And so I'm going to try to get some racing done now plus i didn't get a second video recorded so this one should be going out hopefully before i have to leave um we are going to have net code hell in this because half yeah half the people a little less than half the people here are from europe as you would expect Nothing against them. It's just, you know, much harder to race close with people that have higher pings. Because if you've watched my video on uh, the uh, how prediction code works, or as everyone calls it, net code, but... I think it's better to call it prediction code. Why do we have eight minutes of qualifying? Jesus fuck, I racing really. I gotta sit here for eight fucking minutes. Yeah, off to a great start. So yeah, anyways, the faster you are going, the more ground you are covering while you are sending your information to I racing. And it is sending everyone else's information back to you. So the longer that that process takes, so in my case right now, we're at 66 ping. That means 66 milliseconds for my position on track to be sent to iRacing and back. So, sitting still, that's no big deal. Going this quick. Think about 66 milliseconds. Not going to be hard to predict where I'm going to be at. Once you get up to 180, then you're covering an entire car length or more. I think I calculated it to be at like uh, 18 feet. It's the distance you will travel before iRacing gets updated to everyone else on where your car is at. So that is where the prediction code comes in. iRacing's got to figure out where you're going to be by the time they get the next information so that we can all race together. It's fucking ridiculous that it even works. If you, if you think about it hard enough, you go, holy shit, how does this even work? Because 18 feet all around, you know, forward, backwards, that's a lot of distance. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy that it works as good as it does if you think about it that way. And I think it helps people understand when you put it into those numbers that shit's gonna happen. Yeah, it'd be great if it was perfect, but that is impossible. You can't have instantaneous transfer of data. I think a lot of people 
don't really understand how the internet works, and they just think that they're connected to iRacing, and it should be instant. Which, it's not, and never will be, unless physics-breaking technology comes around, but that will not happen. So, that is what makes places like this even harder. Because in real life, obviously you don't have any of those limitations, and they still fucking wreck, because human error. Um, so then you add in human error, and racing against a bunch of people that are predicted to be where they're at, but you don't really know. Um, so, I'll give an example on how this works. We're holding a nice steady line, easy to predict, just have to predict, like, forward, but since we're going the same speed, that should be easy. Let's say I go like this to change lanes, how, do, how does the game predict that? So, that's why there's always a few issues. Uh, if you bounce off of this, and you shoot up the track, how does the game predict that? Or, if you're running really close to it, but the game predicts that you're going to hit it and does bounce you up, that's why you see some people swerving side to side. Um, it's just... It's such an impossible task to get things right at this speed when everyone's that close. It's, it's essentially like we're always racing AI, um, but ever, it's, you're racing the humans, but you're also racing a prediction of where they're going to be. So, it's crazy. It's crazy when you think about it. Um, just is what it is, and uh, you just gotta live with it. Because there's nothing they can do. Unless they want to make it as terrible as our factor, where if you had someone who had a really bad ping that was running the high side, all of a sudden they'd be like, racing outside the wall. At least iRacing attempts to keep everything somewhat correct. Now when you have the blinking cars and bouncing out, that is someone who we go through here and then all of a sudden for a few seconds no information gets to iRacing. And then it gets back, and iRacing's got to place their car into the game again. And for some reason, the way iRacing places a car in the game, it drops it down. And I think that's what causes the massive hopping and bumping. Um, I assume, I'm just talking out of my ass now, guessing, but when, when you get in a vehicle, uh, there's always that kind of drop when you first join the track. Um, if you look at the sprint cars, they kind of like rise up after you join, which I think is the bounce happening but not being shown and then rising up after the shocks decompress. Again, talking out of my ass, not sure on that, but just taking my best guess at it, so don't don't think that what I'm saying is absolutely 100% right, but with the prediction code, it is. I'm just saying it in a different way that will hopefully help people understand. But this racing sucks no matter what. Um, if you're new to my channel, I hate super speedway racing. Uh, to me, it's just not fun. It's racing where you cannot get away from people that you're faster than is not racing. It's just, I don't know, it's boring.
it's boring to me. So, there's my rant. We'll see how the rest of this goes. Make sure we got people out. And, hey, we qualified second out of four. All right, so um, yeah, we're at the front of the field. I'm not too worried about getting wrecked out. We're just going to do what we can do and uh, hope. Lots of hoping. Go here and get everyone's paints loaded up before we join. iRacing looks so good in between the walls. Like, look at that. Look at the stands. Look at the reflections on the pavement. And then outside the walls, it's like so terrible looking. And I get it got to put your resources where it matters which is in car but man, one day I hope we get to like the entire scene looks awesome all right looks like nearly everyone Go ahead and join up. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. All right, so Pit fix set right 30 now. laps. And if this video is only five minutes long, longer than now, then, uh, well, you can expect something to happen. I hope it's just not a caution fest. I would like this to get over with fairly quick so I can go get some more racing done. There are two additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Alright. Starting P2. Why does the name... The last name... Sounds familiar. Catch On the high inside. All right. Put in your predictions. Where am I going to die? Or do I just continue the streak of uh, zero incidents? I realize that I'm not at perfect safety rating because I have had a few spins and in incidents in warm ups and qualifying. But for where it counts for full points, um, we've been in zero incidents. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to play this race, but definitely want to uh, avoid being around higher ping guys. So, we're going to have to 
be a namist, and if I can't pronounce their name, I'm gonna stay a little bit away from them. So, the normal start, try to get pushes, see which line goes, go up high so we're not getting a complete idiot, try to not get side draft, the dumbass goes three wide on lap one. Good job, Kuto. Just gonna do it to them. Come on, Guto, get the fucking go. I wanted to go three wide. You gotta get going, man. Urgency. That 18 had a massive fucking run out of nowhere. I'm just gonna be the guy that pushes everyone to the lead. Big ass run here. Jesus. That was fucking huge. Back off just a little bit so he gets under my spoiler. Alright, well. We let a lap. Now we just gotta play the arrow game, right? Yeah, this guy's not pushing. At least not pushing as I need off the corner. even when I back up to him. Although we got a good run there. Little lifts. Let him get under that spoiler. We should be able to do much better than everyone else. See, all I need to do is just get angry immediately. And then we can go quick on super speedways. I just start running into everyone. So I'm not even looking out the front. It's all mirror trying to make sure I'm ready for whatever. got a decent pull. We just, we gotta get hooked back up like we were, otherwise the top side's gonna be getting a run. Need to be 187, 189. This guy's backing off too much. Top line's getting formed up now. Got a good run, but he loses. 
tilt, and then he lifts. You got to shove me. It's the only way we're holding on to these positions. Luckily, they decided to go three wide instead of push each other. Got lucky there. So good. Outside lines just not working with each other. We are a sitting duck if this guy pulls out with the car behind him. Side draft. At least we're not under caution. was your choice. So we're going to the back. We had a perfect system there and he jumped out. So we'll see if it was for temps, but even if he had went for clean air, he would have been able to hold that off fine. Jesus. That was a bit of an overreaction there, 18. Alright, 
fourth, but that's probably better than the lead for the last lap. These cars are so hard to see where you're headed. Like cup cars, we at least got the clear spoiler. These things, you can't see a damn thing when you're sucked up on someone, so it's just very impossible to do anything from further back in the line because you hit the guy while he's hitting the guy, then it all goes to hell. So, big run coming up top. side of the 15 and uh, get ahead of him because his side-to-side -side movement is eventually going to cause a wreck once things tighten up more. Right. Weighing my options here. find someone that's going to be easy to work with. I think the three car would be. But right now we're both trapped here, so if he goes under the 15, then I'll try to start pushing him, but at the moment, we're just not too worried about being right up there be able to see what's going to happen, even though people are shuffling past us on the outside. We're just going to stay in it, get away from everyone, and we got a 4x out of that? Man, I fucking did great by missing that. We didn't even touch anyone. Thought for sure I was getting through there without any incident. We did, we just prediction code got us. Alright, well, now we reset. Go again. standings trying to figure out who was out of that. It's a bunch of people that had just got up there, so. Got enough fuel. Tires mean nothing because you're not sliding around. not under that impression. Same reason why tire wear hardly happens at a 1.5 in the next gen, because you're not sliding. You're just driving down the interstate. We'll be starting on the inside. leader is the 20 car. Let's 
See, what's really stupid about this racing is, like, the 15 pissed me off because he jumped out there for no reason when we had the bottom line controlled perfectly. And because of that, me being behind him, I was able to slow him down. Like, what kind of racing is that? It's just... Uh, it's so annoying. Like, And that's, that's where top-tier stock car racing is headed at all tracks now, and it's so disappointing. A fast car should be able to get away from other cars. And lap people, and it's just, you know, sometimes the fastest car wins by a mile. Sometimes it's a close race. It was fine when it was just Talladega and Daytona races, where it was all this boring, just pack racing. Now that it's everywhere, though, it's just disappointing. Alright, so, hopefully we don't have damage, since we got an X, but... Don't think we do. One to go, next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Let's see how everyone races now. Got 12 to go when we go green. The three and the five are going to be able to hook up and just blow past. Pretty much the entire outside lane is, they are set up to just fucking go. The 5, the 3, the 7, the 2. Inside lane is Europe with me in the middle. need to try some stuff out to start getting ready for the end of this and uh, kind of see how to set up those runs. That way we can make an attempt to win this thing. But it's going to be difficult.
this guy's car is just too erratic for us to get a good push. And there we go. Staying away from the side draft. Stay away from the side draft, you can just Still there. You're in the middle. lock it. had this side draft there and not worry about behind me. I've got to watch for him to stick it three wide up the middle though too. So I can't get too far away from the cars on the inside. But I think I'm also going to get sent in the sucker hole when he pulls out to the outside. leading at the line there. Got three wide coming on the outside. Two guys hooked up. sure they're going to be able to do it. A little lift. Oh, and here he is. Well, we're going to go backwards now because the guy behind us is not good at pushing. Good job, 15, once again. Okay. Gladly. Well, that was too strong. I don't know how that happened. We hit him solid. That was stupid. We didn't have that big of a run. It should not have turned him like that. I was lifting off. <sighs> Oh well, call it me, my fault. Just getting pulled 
back on both sides right now. Back out so I don't wreck this guy because I'm way too far to the right, and I think that was probably what caused that first one. behind us. Alright, let's work with the 20. Hopefully not turning. That's so annoying that I turned that dude. The water test is getting high. Yep. Okay, so that is why the 15 pulled out. Okay, well, I hope this guy can push us smoother. Here it is! We gotta get the right run. Big run! Clear inside. This guy knows how to push hard. We may die. Well, it's fucking 12th place. <laughs> Such a stupid, stupid ass form of racing. There's nothing, I mean, I could have came down, but he would have just shot to our outside. I felt like our best chance was to stay middle and hope he didn't get clear. But he got clear, so. Is what it is. Let's take a look at that, see what we can learn. So my hope was the 20 was going to stay to his inside, but I just drifted up too high, I guess. So, that sucks. Just opened it up.
think the 20 got it. Nope, 13 got it. So, had I not drifted up there just a little too far, then we probably could have won that. But, <sighs> sucks. I have no idea why I drifted up. Maybe that hip moved me up a bit. I don't know. I'm just shit at this racing. So fucking stupid. Um, let's go look at when we wrecked the three and see if I was just on his right or if there was anything I could do different here. Oh yeah, I hit him on the right side, not square. I thought it was square, but it wasn't. <sighs> and let's go look at the wreck that we avoided, but got a 4x. didn't turn us because he merged into us for a second. That's part of that prediction code. Trying to figure out everyone lifting off and changing speeds and changing lines. And We survive it. But, yeah. Just not good. Not good at all. Could have won that found myself in position and screwed it up so oh well it's uh yeah it's a place where it's a type of racing where Michael Waltrip Michael McDowell Derek Cope have won so I don't know you can't feel too bad about losing I just don't like this stuff Let's take a look at the results and get this video done. There we go. We are not on a 499 because we got 12 incidents. We lose some I rating. And... Yeah. So. Uh, oh well. Learned some stuff. Hopefully we'll be better and hopefully it was worth watching. Thanks for watching.